automated at home style blood pressure cuffs are quite affordable. They're also pretty easy to use. In this video, I'm gonna be using an Omron blood pressure monitor with an Omron easy wrap blood pressure cuff to show how to do this. But regardless, the general steps are gonna be the same for pretty much any at home style blood pressure cuff. Before you begin, there are some things you need to know about. Uh, first of all, uh, make sure that you pick a, a certain time during the day that you're gonna monitor your blood pressure every day. This way you can track your blood pressure over time. And so uh, one thing you wanna keep in mind is it's probably not a great idea to do when you first wake up in the morning. Give yourself a little bit of time to kind of go about your day um, before taking your blood pressure measurement um, because people tend to have high blood pressure or higher than normal blood pressure for them um, when they first wake up in the morning. Some other things you wanna avoid in the 30 minutes leading up to your blood pressure monitoring are gonna be exercise, food, bathing, stress, nicotine uh, consumption or smoking, and caffeine. When it's actually time to take your blood pressure measurements, first go and empty your bladder and then find a nice quiet place to do the measurements. Make sure that you expose the skin on your arm where you're gonna be taking your measurement. Typically this is gonna be on your left arm. It's important to make sure that you're using the proper size cuff. Typically what you're gonna to wanna to do is find a blood pressure cuff with an air bladder in it that's gonna be able to go between 80% and 100% around your arm, not more, not less. The easy wrap style cuff that I'll be showing in this video is meant for arms with a circumference between 22 and 42 centimeters or nine to 17 inches. Now you're gonna to wanna to apply the blood pressure cuff to your left arm. If you're using this easy wrap cuff, make sure that you don't try to undo this coil because um, you might break the cuff. So go ahead and slide the cuff up the arm, again, without undoing the coil. Place the hand um, palm side up on a table or, or some other surface and have the tube go down your arm through the middle of your arm uh, all the way down as though it was trying to basically come in contact with your middle finger. So draw a straight line from your elbow to your middle finger um, with the tube and that will tell you you're, you're putting the cuff on properly for the left arm. Um, we will talk about the right arm in a second. Uh, this cuff should be placed about one to two centimeters or about half an inch above the elbow or the crease on the elbow. And the cuff should be then wrapped with the Velcro so that it's firmly attached to the arm. If you're gonna use your right arm, you need to make sure that you align the cuff in a different way so that it's uh, properly covering the brachial artery with the air bladder in the cuff. To quote the Omron manual here, it says, the air tube should run along the side of your elbow, along the bottom of your arm, and be careful not to rest your arm on the air tube. And the reason for that is because you don't want to pinch the air tube by accident. So again, this is different from doing it on the left arm. The right arm, the air tube has to be almost under the arm where the, with the left arm, you want the air tube to go on top of the arm. Regardless of which arm you're choosing, make sure that the artery symbol on the cuff is on top of the artery in your arm. And this is gonna be just to the inside of the end of the biceps brachii, so your biceps muscle. With the cuff on, plug it into the side of the machine, and now you're gonna to wanna to sit for five minutes waiting for your body to come to a nice rested, calm, and steady state. The chair should be firm and supportive and not be like a sofa where you're gonna sink into uh, the chair or the sofa itself. Put your feet flat on the floor without crossing your legs. Make sure that your arm that is uh, being used for the blood pressure measurement is supported at the level of the heart. So the cuff itself should be approximately at the same level of your heart within your chest. And then hit the button and just relax. Uh, try not to talk, try not to move, and eventually the machine will inflate and deflate and then give you your values. All right, so the top number is going to be the systolic blood pressure, the middle number is gonna be your diastolic blood pressure, and the bottom number is going to be your heart rate. Once you've recorded your blood pressure measurements, you can now hit the same button that made the machine start and that will turn the machine off. At this point in time, give yourself one to three minutes and do the process again. Just hit the button again in order to take another blood pressure measurement so you can make sure that the blood pressure measurements are stable and that your blood pressure is not continually going up or continually going down. And that would be a sign that you're not in a completely rested state. Automated blood pressure cuffs like this are great for doing resting measurements, but they're not so good for doing measurements when the body's in motion, such as in, with exercise. And so during exercise, you still need to use a manual blood pressure setup in order to get a true and accurate blood pressure reading. So if you're curious about that, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description here below uh, on a video that I've already done on how to do a manual blood pressure reading. 